Okay, go up. They are not targeting me just yet. They are targeting me now. But I'm far, far away enough, yeah, for them not to be able to attack me. Okay, so I can do that. So I can do that. You can take the short way around and and avoid the the mule camp and the BT area. Yeah. How long does it take me to actually get to to the city? Because the problem is that the zip lines go always at the same speed. It doesn't matter how much car uh, how much cargo you are carrying. If you don't carry anything, or if you are carrying 270 kilos, you're going to go at the same speed. So, the zip line is a constant. And we can trust that. It doesn't mean that I like it, but at least it's stable. And I can trust how much it takes me to, to actually get to, to a place. Okay, uh... How long did it take me to get here? It takes you 5 minutes. So it will take me 15 minutes to go back and forth with all the cargo. And it should be easier on the second trip because I don't have to keep as much the balance Shit, 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 don't drop it, don't drop it, just keep walking. I don't have to keep the balance as much, because it's going to be smaller and less cargo. So it should be easier, with the, with the second trip. Please, 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 don't drop it, please don't fuck this up, Sam. Just go on a straight line, it's not that difficult. Just a little bump on the road. Just keep running, just keep running. Don't drop the cargo. I swear to god, if I don't get the S rank on this mission, like I got the B rank on, on 228, I'm going to be pissed. Like, really, really fucking pissed. Activate terminal. Leave the things on the private locker. Ah, da, 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 da. Okay, things to the private locker. Okay, do I have a garage? Do I have a vehicle in the garage that I can use? Only bikes. I cannot use the bikes. Or can I? I cannot place things in the bikes. But I can keep my balance better in the bikes because you don't drop the things and you don't fall out of the bikes. So I could leave a bike right by the zip line, get on the bike and get to the distro center and shave like 10 seconds in there. I could do that. I could do that. What is the fastest bike you have in here? This one. I mean, it's only shaving like 10 seconds, it's, it's not going to shave much more, but... 10 seconds can mean the, the difference between an A rank and an S rank. Especially because you can do this, and it's way faster than walking. Should be another five minutes to the Fortnite City. Yeah. If I do this correctly, instead of what I just did, it should be ten, uh, five minutes to Fortnite City. Go up, go up, go up, go up. Okay! It sucks. I, I know that it's hard to apply the concept on... Oh, 
Sargoro! Thank you for the retweet, my dude! Sargoro, you're the best. I know it's hard to apply the concept of... Uh, because the general idea, the first idea that they teach Sonny was not building roads that were scripted, is that you can alter the terrain on, on this game, and by altering the terrain, you can create footpath. Like, for example, this footpath in here was made by multiple players walking through the same path. So if multiple players follow the same path, the terrain became, becomes a footpath, and it becomes easier to traverse. The first idea that they pitched Sony was that those footpaths eventually will become roads. And if they become roads, they become easier to traverse for vehicles. But that never happened. The only roads in the game are roads that are already placed by, by the developers and that you have to rebuild. And I know that it's really hard to apply that concept. But it would have been cool to see it. I'm really sad that, that it never happened because it would have made this area way more interesting because this area is completely not designed for vehicles. This area is completely not designed for vehicles at all. So using vehicles in this area is, is not the most efficient thing that you can do because the terrain is not designed for it. But if you had that concept that they pitched Sony when they pitched the game of being able to make the roads wherever you want, either by walking or by choosing to build them there, it would make this area more traversable. Especially having in mind that some of the roads are are not attached to the ground. They are like bridges. They, they can be floating across a river or they can be floating across a, a large gap on the floor so you don't really need the road to be attached to the ground and again I know that concept is difficult to apply but if you can do it with bridges I don't see why you wouldn't be able to do it with if you can put bridges anywhere you can apply the same concept I fucked it up I fucked it up I just wasted like five seconds in there uh, if you can, if you can put bridges anywhere you want, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to do the same with roads because it's essentially the same. Just wasted like five seconds in there. I really have to get rid of those zip lines because they are completely useless. Do I have a bike right next to that zip line? I think there is a bike right next to that zip line. Correction, there was a bike next to that zip line. That there is no bike anymore. I think that climbing the mountain with a bike is faster than using the zip line. Because, yes, you have to make a couple more turns, but the bike is on, on fast mode is faster than than the sibling on, on its standard build, uh, speed. I was going to say velocity. Velocity is a different thing in English. Shit, 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 the other way around, Sam. Stop stretching and keep running. You don't have time to stretch. You're on a time budget here, keep running. Okay, do I have a vehicle close enough or do I have to make one? I think I can make one or get one from the garage. Come on, come on, come on, come on faster. Private locker, uh, special beer, put all that on your backpack. I can carry everything, perfect. Uh, what about the vehicle? Mm -hmm, garage. Uh, reverse strike, long range, perfect. Can I go through the entire mountain? 
is it going to be raining? I don't need the cutscene. How is the weather on the mountain? Because if I can traverse the mountain without using the steep lines, there is no rain, but there is going to be rain in 10 minutes. And then rain in there. I should be able to go at least to the distro center on the bike. And it should be faster than going with the zip lines. At least in theory, it should be faster. Yeah, it feels fa it feels faster than than zip lining. Not only it feels faster, it is faster. If you don't get stuck, like I just did there on stupid terrain. Uphill is not really that fast. Downhill should be should be easier. Come on, come on, come on. I'm on a footpath. It should be easier for you. Come on. Come on, bike. I'm not asking too much of you. But this is what I say uh, about the, the roads and the footpaths. A footpath on a vehicle is not that different from a... Uh... Oh no, there is rain, there is rain, and if there is rain, there are BTs. There they are. Shit. Where is the zip line? I left it way too behind. Okay. Uh, I thought there was not going to be BTs, but there are BTs. Shit. Zip line. Okay, at least I got here on the bike, so should be okay to go back at least using the siblings. Uh, what was I saying? I completely forgot. Oh yeah, the you can notice the difference between walking on a footpath and walking on normal terrain, but using a bike on a footpath and using a bike on normal terrain, there is no much difference. You can notice the difference between, uh, correction, between grassland. Because walking on, uh, using a bike on a rocky terrain and using a bike on a footpath on a rocky terrain are two different experiences. Because you can notice the, the bumps on the, on the rocky terrain and if you are on a footpath made on that rocky terrain, there is no as much bump, uh, bumping. There, there are no as many bumps. Uh, but on the grass, on normal terrain, you don't notice that difference on the on the bike at all. Again, I love the concept of the ring alteration. I just wish they got more into it. I, I wish it wasn't as shallow as just walking through a through a, the same path over and over again. Eventually, makes a, a footpath. It's a really cool concept, but what they pitched was better. Is not as cool as it could have been, is what I'm saying. Obviously, what what you pitch, for example, let's let's put for example, Shadow of the Colossus. The the first pitch of Shadow of the Colossus when they when they pitch the the game to start making it. Uh, the first idea they had was to make it a multiplayer game. It was a an eight player game, if I remember correctly. And instead of controlling one adult, you were going to be controlling multiple uh, demon children from Ico. Every player was going to be like uh, its own version of the kid you control on Ico. And you had to, <laughs> to play multiplayer to actually defeat the Colossi. And it was a neat concept that never got used. Because it, it became a single player game, which I love. But it would have been nice to see uh, a version of the game that was multiplayer with players distracting the Colossi while other players attack them. 